What does that mean for actually Putin's tenure? Could we actually see him replaced? And we heard from national security intelligence that actually it would be a real problem for many countries around the world as Prigozhin would be the next president, especially if he had the nuclear arms. I mean, he is more unstable and highly volatile even compared to Vladimir Putin. I, th I think we can pretty much rule out the idea that Mr. Prigozhin will be the next president of Russia. I think what happened over the weekend um, has seriously damaged Mr. Putin. Um, a lot of it, I think, um, is self-harm. Um, you know, he looks damaged, and I think you know this is a consequence um, of the way that um, he's come to run Russia in recent years. Um, and I think in his speech on the Saturday morning, his address to the nation on the Saturday morning, uh, the reference to 1917 and the stab in the back was a bad error. I mean, that implies that, you know, Russia is susceptible to some sort of revolution or coup. Absolutely not the message I think he wanted to be spent sending. I mean, um, the idea that um, there might be some sort of palace coup, with someone seek to overthrow him, you know, I, I find that quite implausible at the moment. It would be a highly risky venture for anyone to undertake that. Uh, by the way, you know, I, I think it's absolutely implausible that the West would wish to be seen have any hand in this. I mean, the best thing Western governments can do is stay well clear of this. I think what we're now seeing um, is um, a period um, of uncertainty um, and. Um, uh, um, you know, essentially trying to work out what to do within the Russian system mm -hmm. itself. As regards Russia's so, standing with its, its international partners, again, I think that's quite seriously damaged. I think that people like Xi Jinping will be looking at um, uh, Moscow this morning and just trying to work out what on earth is going on. So, uh, Ambassador, are we going to see changes to either tactically, you know, how Russia continues its war in Ukraine or actually changes at the top of the defense ministry? It, was it for, for money that Prigozhin backed away or was it for changes? We, we don't know why Prigozhin backed away. I think the things to watch with regard to the war are any impact on morale of the army, uh, the Russian army fighting in Ukraine, any impact on its capabilities. What we will not see, I think, um, is any change in the fundamental goals of Putin and the Russian state. You know, their goal is, is to subjugate or to break um, Ukraine. As regards the, the politics, um, I think what we will uh, see here is a continued period, um, a, a possibly quite a long period, um, of uncertainty about where things are going. Bear in mind that there is, um, uh, in theory at least, a presidential election due in Russia next year. And whatever the plan for that was, whether it was another term in power for Mr. Putin or some sort of managed succession, I think that just got much harder. Ambassador, do we know how much the, the people inside Russia understand what happened over the weekend? Again, I think there were reports that Russia 24 was, for example, looking at a documentary on Berlusconi at the time. Because if, if Vladimir Putin is weakened, that will affect morale of the troops. Yeah. So the, the Russian state has pretty much total control um, over the TV and radio media. Um, and I'm sure that they will be using that over the coming weeks and months to try and reassert a sense of normality and grip and purpose um, at the top. The bigger question here, I think, um, is the sense that um, there is... Uh, something just changed, something just happened, and nobody really quite knows what to make of that. What I think the Kremlin's response will be um, will be even deeper repression. We've seen plenty of repression in the last year since the invasion started. I would fully expect that now to double down.